In this video, we will demonstrate how BrightPay will assist you with your auto-enrolment duties. As soon as your staging date is known, this can be entered in the dedicated pensions utility in the designated field provided. You will know your staging date when you receive your letter from the pensions regulator or by looking it up on the pension regulator's website. Entering details of your pension scheme is also straightforward in BrightPay and can be entered in advance of your staging date. Within the Pensions Utility, simply click Add New Scheme, followed by the applicable Pension Scheme option from the listing. In this example, we are using Legal and General as our scheme. Simply enter your scheme reference in the field provided, followed by your scheme category details on the next screen. Here, you will also be given the option to set the contribution type and earnings basis, and also to add further scheme categories if required. For example, if you have employees on different pay frequencies or sets of employees with different contribution rates. When ready, click Save to complete the setup. As soon as your staging date is reached in the payroll, BrightPay will automatically assess your employees for you and determine whether they are eligible job holders, non-eligible job holders or entitled workers. On-screen flags and alerts will also appear to notify you that you now have auto-enrolment duties to perform. These alerts will bring you through to the various actions available based on the selected employee's worker category. For an eligible job holder, you'll be given the option to enrol them into a qualifying scheme, to postpone them for up to three months or mark them as exempt if applicable. To enrol an eligible job holder, simply click Enrol and select the scheme you wish to enrol them in. Click Continue to complete their enrolment. Once enrolled, BrightPay will then automatically prepare the employee's enrolment letter and this can be printed, exported to PDF or emailed directly from BrightPay to the employee. Once the employee has been provided with their letter, simply mark this as done. For non-eligible job holders, you will be given the following options based on this worker category. To write to them, inviting them to opt in, to opt them in should they choose to do so, to postpone them or mark them as exempt. Similarly, the following options will be given for an entitled worker. To write to them, inviting them to join, for them to join should they choose to do so, to postpone them or mark as exempt. A useful feature in BrightPay is the option to enrol more than one employee at the same time. You will see here that at the time of enrolling an eligible job holder, you will also be given the option to enrol multiple employees with the same settings. Simply select the employees who you wish to enrol and click Enrol Selected Employees to complete their enrolment. In the same manner, you will also be given the option to batch print, export or email their enrolment letters and subsequently mark these as done. Should you wish to postpone an employee, this can be done by selecting the postpone option within their automatic enrolment utility. Enter the relevant deferral date and press continue. Batch processing can also be done for postponement. Simply select those you wish to postpone and click postpone selected employees. When postponement is used, BrightPay will automatically prepare the employee's postponement letter, which again can be printed, exported to PDF, or emailed directly from BrightPay to the employee. Simply mark as done once completed. Once employees have been enrolled or have joined or opted in, you will now see their pension deductions being applied to their payslips. These pension deductions will also be included on the employee's payslips. BrightPay can also produce your enrolment file for legal and general and each periodic contributions file. To generate the enrolment file within the pensions utility, select the enrolment summary option on the menu bar and create CSV file. Complete each step accordingly. Save the file to a location of your choice, ready for upload as required. Likewise, to generate a contributions file after each pay period, Select the Contribution Summary option on the menu bar, followed by Create CSV file. Complete each step accordingly. Again, at the prompt, save your Contributions file, ready for upload. 
Brightpay is also able to process opt-out requests and issue refunds where applicable. If an opt-out notice is received for an employee, access the employee's automatic enrollment utility and select the opt-out option. Simply enter in the opt-out reference if one has been received and save this change. If the employee has already made contributions, these will then be refunded as follows in the next pay period process for them. For your own reporting requirements, the analysis function within the software can be accessed at any time should you wish to generate your own auto-enrollment reports. Simply click New Report, select your criteria and run the report to view on screen. These reports can subsequently be saved, edited, printed or exported as required. After all your staging duties have been performed, it is important in each subsequent pay period to continue to monitor staff who were not already enrolled, for example, an employee turning 22 years of age. Brightpay will continue to alert you to such events and prompt you to perform the necessary actions required.